Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. My watercolor lessons are designed for beginners of all ages. No theory and not too technical. Just follow along with me. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Welcome to the next lesson in our dog series. Today, we'll paint a beagle named Bucky. I knew a Bucky when I was younger. He had a great personality and thought he was a hunting dog, but he really wasn't. We'll use three brushes, six paints, and six techniques. To better enjoy the lesson, you may wish to use the same paints and materials as I do. Watch my video, Best Materials for Watercolor Beginners, to see where to get them. The link to the video is in the description and in the corner of the screen. Be sure to check below for more useful information and links. Let's have some fun and paint. Let's get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, put some water in your palette, Okay, today we will be using a template. And here is my template. So I will be placing it on my paper. And there is going to be a background here with a blue sky and a grass, grassy area. So I'm putting my template about the middle of the page a little bit lower, maybe about a fingertip up above from the bottom. So let's take our liner brush and trace our template using the ochre color, yellow ochre. There I have the outline of my template. Now I'm just adding water to my brush. I'm going to dilute the lines here. Now right here is the dog's paw and I want to bring it up to about right there. Now here is part of the dog's ear and it's a beagle. So here's the ear forming that shape and then continuing with this color up to the top. Now this this dog has a 
white line right here and I'm going to dilute the line there and lift some of that paint out and then reload your brush with a yellow ochre and come on the other side and there's some more of that color just a little bit and then his nose comes out here and come back and carry some of the color here on the other side of the face. Now, the eye of the dog is about right here. So I want to leave kind of a white space, not make it too dark. We'll go back and fill that in at a later date. Then carry the color down to the bottom of the ear and then bring it up and on the nose there's a white part like so and then carry it a little bit this way there's part of the the mouth of the dog. Okay, and so the nose is going to be right here. But let's continue on and the color of the yellow ochre we Let's add a little bit of the burnt umber. Give it a little more brownish color. And carry it, the neckline right here. And then down where part of the leg is going to start. And then carry that color all the way to the back here and a little bit on the tail. And there's some white on that tail, so I don't want to fill in the tail completely. And then color the whole area here and bring it down on the lower part of the leg here. and reload your brush as needed. Now, on the paw here, it comes a little further down, but not all the way. And then you will want to fill in the spot here. Like so. Now, below the dog has toenails and we want to make the toenails just kind of that light tannish gold color. Like so. And then some of that color is carried on to the leg below here. And then let's carry some of the color 
on the breast here and around the neck. Okay. Now let's stop for a moment and give it a quick dry. Okay, let's work on the ear here. We will be adding another layer of the yellow ochre and burnt umber. Now we want to leave some of that light color and not cover the ear completely. And then carry the color up to the top and on the face here. down below. Okay, now let's do the nose and that is a darker brown color. So we will use ultramarine blue and burnt umber to get more of a deep brown black color. And if you have too much of the ultramarine blue, it'd be too much of a, it'll be a blue gray. You want more of a brown gray. So the nose is right here on the tip. And some of that color carries down a little below. Like so. And then we can use that same color. So we will use the same color for part of the eye here. Seems a little too blue to me, so I need to add some more burnt umber. And then on the other side, you see part of the eye, like so. And then I'm going to clean my brush. And add a touch of just straight burnt sienna. Kind of get that rusty color and put some a little above the eye. Now that's a little strong and I'm going to dilute it a little bit here. 
spread that color, kind of giving it a glaze. Spreading it around and bringing it below here and come up connecting where the nose and the mouth is, like so. Beginning to put a little bit of a line below the eye, like that. And one on the other side, like so. Need to get more of my paper towel here. And take your brush and I'm going to put a little bit of the bird sienna on the ear. Kind of a glaze to give it dimension. And then carry it down here. Okay, so now the this beagle has a dark spot right about here. So we will be taking our mixture of bird's umber and ultramarine blue and put some right about here. And then there is some on the tail, so I need to bring some up on the tail here. And then here's where we're going to make the definition of him. He's lifting the paw up, looking and, and sensing there's something to catch and chase and have fun with. So I'm going to carry that little down below there. Water that down some. And there's some of that color on his lower leg. like so. And on the chest here, there's a little bit of shadow. And we can use this color a little bit on the chest here. Like so. You don't need much. Now, right about here, there's a collar, and we're going to make that a bluish brown color. So let's use our mixture of ultramarine blue and burnt umber and make it a little bit more on the blue side. And you can always Test it on your paper towel. A little more blue on that. That's close. So you want to start the collar right below the ear and then bring it around to there. This might turn a little more black, but you can make yours more black or more bluish. Again, this is your creation, and I. So let's proceed on. So. 
So I'm going to put some of that color a little bit by the nose. But there's some shadow. Not much. Just a tiny bit. Okay, let's give it a good dry. Okay, now I would like to make this area here a little more solid, some darker spots. And right here, there's a little shadow where he's lifting. So we need to add, still using the color ultramarine blue and burnt umber. spot right here and bring it on the other side there other side Just making it a little darker and carrying that color. Like so. Okay. And let's put a little more right below the leg there. Okay. Now, we will start with the background. So, we will be using our mop and wetting the water first. Now, I like starting at the top. I'm going to make a blue sky and then around about here we will start to make a field that the, the dog is searching for. Critters in the grass. So if you need to go ahead and clean your palette here. I want to put my blue here and there's brown. I don't want the colors to mix. So go ahead and wet your mop brush. And we're using ultramarine blue. And Oh, I was going to, I said I was going to wet my paper first, but I fooled you, I didn't. That's okay. I'm going to clean my brush. There's a little blue in that, that's okay. And wet my paper. And be careful not to get too close to the dog so you won't wreck the work that you already have done. Okay.
here. I'm going to brush that here out of the picture. Okay. It's not a bright sunny day, so this is kind of a light blue sky. And then when you get to about here, we will change colors. Just rinse your brush out and add some cadmium red below. Cadmium yellow below. And that's just the foundation of making our meadow. We want some bright yellow to come through our field. And when it comes to the blue, if it runs, that's okay. Okay, let's stop and dry it. see some little puddles and I'm just gonna dab them. If you dry them you'll just have a dry blob. So sometimes it's better to dab it and lift it out if you don't want to have a paint blob. Okay so now let's switch our brush to brown with pointed tip. and wet your brush and add some sap green. And just make some strokes. Along the paper here. And I'm putting more solid of this green underneath the dog, underneath the belly here. Put some on the other side here. This 
kind of some random switches. It's like mark there or mark here. I see in some spots the yellow didn't really show through, so I will be wetting my brush and adding some cadmium yellow. In spots. And I find it's helpful to start it one side, like right here, and just kind of look where you think it needs it and work to the other end. But again, when you do that, you don't want to choom, 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 just, you know, every inch. Look at your painting. Enjoy it, what you're creating. Okay, so in this field, there's, I have some lights and some mediums, but now I need some darkers. Now you can go with a darker green, which I wanna add some dark green on here. And then there's some grass that's dried, so it's more of the color of burnt umber or burnt sienna. Actually, you can, I'm going to create a combination of both, but let's first add the darker green. So to make the green darker, I will be using the sap green. With the burnt umber. And that makes it almost a olive color and again just go spreadically starting here and just oh it looks like it needs it here and there and some by the dog our beagle dog and then pause to look and then reload your brush as needed And continue on to the other side. Okay, so now let's add burnt sienna to the green here that I have on my palette. There was just a touch of the sap green and a touch of the burnt umber. And we'll put some of the stray grass in here, starting to one on one side, and continuing on to the other.
Okay, this is getting close. I just want to lighten these a little bit. A little bit strong. Wear them out a little bit here. And then take time to stop and put your brush down and look at it. And as I'm looking at my painting, I like the overall look. It's easy to be hard on yourself and think, oh, this is a little bit off and fix it. And then you do and then it ruins the painting. But enjoy the process. I like my happy dog hunting in the field, looking for things to chase and have fun. Have a great day, and thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed painting with me today. I'd love to see photos of your creations. Email them to me at the address on our YouTube About page. To suggest something to paint, let me know in the comments. To give watercolor a try, subscribe to my channel and take a lesson or two. Join me next time when we'll paint another faithful companion. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.